to watch a movie. Stay indoors. This is a kind of night you don't want to be outside, mm -hmm. right, Annalise? It's getting pretty cold out there. It is. It's chilly. And you know what? I think it's just that stark contrast to yesterday. It's not that 50s are unusual for this time in the year here in DFW, but it is the fact that we were talking mid 80s yesterday. So take a look right now. Not just us here across North Texas, really the center of the country, and now the eastern half getting in on this strong cold front. Temperatures plunging in the past 24 hours, 52 degrees currently for DFW. We are also watching in the upper levels a little bit of moisture working this way, still streaming into Texas. So we're not done with a little bit of wet weather either. You can see some of that showing up here on our radar. Still going to keep it dry for the evening, but later on tonight we will be watching for some light, light rain, a little bit of drizzle, maybe even some sleet and flakes are possible to mix in with this overnight and into tomorrow morning. Here's the good news. Temperatures are expected to stay above freezing. The ground is warm, so let's track this with you as we get past this evening. Some scattered light rain, isolated winter mix. Again, not expecting that to amount to much. Maybe some minor accumulation off to our southwest as we get into early tomorrow. Then that drizzle that's left over tomorrow is going to shift to our south, making its exit tomorrow afternoon. We will be left with heavy clouds, a very chilly feel. It will be more of a raw day tomorrow. Temperatures a little bit cooler than what we even saw today. Mentioning the light sleet, a little bit of that snow possible to mix in. That would be the best off to the southwest. Cleburne, Hillsboro, Mineral Wells, you're going to have that better opportunity to see any of this mixture later tonight and early tomorrow. Again, not expecting a big impact, but just something to note so you're not caught off guard tomorrow. Temperatures right now upper 40s, low 50s. It is very chilly across the entire region. And as we wake up tomorrow, temperatures are going to be in the upper 30s to about 40 degrees. Again, that's good news with any winter mix that mixes in with the rain. Scott, taking a look at our weather history about four years ago this time, we were dealing with a much bigger event, right, Scott? Absolutely. And glad to see all that down to our southwest of the Metroplex. But you guys remember this? Four years ago, the cobblestone ice where we did have the sleet mixing its way on in. It started as rain, then turned to sleet, and it was hard to drive around. On the roadways, we had what was called cobblestone ice. You can see the cars just bouncing there. So, why did this happen? Let's take a look at some of the history of this. And as you can see, it's been four years since what we called Isomageddon here in North Texas. It started today on the 5th as we go ahead and advance that graphic on. Started as rain, then switched to sleet. December 4th, just yesterday in 2013, it was 79 degrees. We had a record high yesterday as well. Cold front pushed through, but we don't have the cold air and the precip in place. The lowest temperature then after that was 21 degrees. Temps stayed, actually stayed below 40 degrees for five days. So we did see that rain then turn into sleet. Uh, we had heavy amounts of that and then freezing rain as well. The slush wasn't cleared. And because of that, we had these divots and these grooves created. And because of that, we have then what was called cobblestone ice tearing up cars, making all of the deliveries for the holiday season even delayed. So thankfully, yes, it's colder now, but not a repeat of what we saw four years ago. Yes, glad to see that for sure. So again, tonight, nothing of that extreme, but something to note, a little bit of light rain, possibly some flakes and some sleep pellets late tonight and into tomorrow morning. The cold air is going to stay with us all through this week. We're keeping those high temperatures in the low to upper 50s. A bit of a bump up, a mild, nice weekend, guys. We'll be back in the 60s.